morning y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey girl hey welcome to a new vlog today's work day hustle day grind day okay work day hustle day grind day <laughs> work day hustle day so i'm gonna do a sandwich this morning i have some sourdough bread i'm gonna make a ham and cheese I hope you guys had an amazing week. This vlog is probably going to be posted in the weekend or beginning of next week. So I'll probably catch y'all up once I get to work. So my dentist is off work for the week. So my office is doing what's called general supervision. So if you're a dental hygienist, you might be familiar with what that is. That's basically when the dentist is not physically present in the office, in the building, but the hygienist can still practice within certain rules. So certain patients can be seen. Yesterday, I actually went in and I had two patients, y'all. Um, it was raining and pouring all day. The weather sucked. And I think a lot of patients just canceled due to fear of like COVID cases rising and a combination of that and the weather. But anyways, I had two patients all day yesterday. So I actually got off work at 11 o'clock, which was great. I got home, edited a video, did some work. So today, I'm not sure what my schedule is looking like. I think yesterday when I checked, it was a pretty full schedule. Some patients were unconfirmed. So we'll see. Um, I'll be able to take y'all to work with me today, as usual, and let y'all see what I do. Um, it has now been four years since I've been a dental hygienist. So we'll have a chit chat on my four year anniversary as a dental hygienist and how I've been feeling in the field. But yeah, it's a general supervision day, so I'll see y'all later. getting set up with everything i just grabbed my lab coat for the day i have my loops out and everything let me go ahead and clock in because this computer just turned on so that's what i'm gonna do full schedule compared to yesterday which is pretty good yesterday was sad it was like in a drought so what am I gonna do right now? I'm gonna go ahead and grab some instruments for my day. I'm going to turn on the water and the suction unit. I'm gonna get all the way set up for my first patient. Just got back from sterilization. I grabbed some extra instruments for today. I'm gonna put them in my drawer. And now we're gonna set up. So first, my good old roll of tape. I'm just gonna tape down the keyboard the mouth so that way when I'm touching them during treatment, I am not contaminating them and I'm lowering the risk of spreading contamination, okay? So then on here, I'm gonna put a tray liner, profi paste, brush, suction, air water syringe, some gauze, some floss, okay, and I like to just go ahead and attach them where they belong to save me time. Grab my patient napkin. Let's go to our good old supply room. I need to grab a cap. Hair cap, hair net, voila. So once I am all set up, the next thing I like to do is go over my schedule. So I just refreshed the page. My first patient is here. So first I like to check the patient's age, x-ray history. Last time we had x-ray was over a year ago. So we're taking new x-rays today. Then I check their um treatment notes so like what was the last appointment what did they come last year for was and then i also checked their medical history what was on their last medical history did they take any medications do they have any allergies 
finished surgery. I'm gonna pull up the x-ray system because they are due for x-rays. Um, we're taking bite wings today. This is where we have all of our x-ray goodies. So I'm gonna grab the sensor and set up. And we're taking four bite wings and three PA. So I'm gonna double click on that. But let me tell you what happened to me today. This is not a good day. I'm so annoyed. So all morning I've been working without my loops because this broke in half, girl. So it's supposed to have a screw to hold the arm in with the frame of the glasses. And the screw has been loose for months now, honestly. I've just been keeping it in there every time it pops up, I push it back in, pops up, I push it back in. Well, I took my loops out of the box today just to find out that the screw is lost. Nowhere to be found, I can't find the screw. So I have to get on the phone with Oroscoptic today, see if I can ship this out to them and get it fixed ASAP because it's such a struggle to work without my loops. I can't see as well and it just sucks. It sucks. But anyways, I'm gonna get on the phone with them in a little bit because I'm about to go to my lunch order <laughs> when I did it. So I'm with my girl Kiera. You guys know Kiera. She's been in my vlogs before. Say hey girl. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> so Kiera is getting ready for a big test. She's taking her exam in dental assisting tonight. She's going through dental assisting school. And we got some flashcards and we're about to test her to see. So tell them a little bit about your class. Mm, how it okay. was. Okay, so I'll be honest, it's a 10 week program mm -hmm. um it's a course i take in buckhead um i mean it's cool if you're trying to get through something really quickly if you're right. a fast learner like um, how many weeks it's 10 weeks 10 weeks okay yeah um, i feel like it went by faster than that i mean it did i feel like it went by it took a while but it also went by fast well, towards the end okay. yeah i would recommend a longer program just so that you can mm. get more learning hands on. more hands on because they cram things up of yeah. course this camera about to die <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this test you're taking tonight, is it like a, it's a final exam, how many questions? Yes, my final or? exam. I think it's 50 or 100. 50 questions. Um, this is the written part. Tomorrow is the practical. Oh, you have a practical part too, mm -hmm. so. Mm. It's bringing me memories. But okay, let's jump straight into these questions because we've been procrastinating all for the past hour. I'm about to see if she's really ready. But she ain't studying. This only one chapter. Whew. Oh, only one chapter? Yep. Yeah. I got another one, but so do you know all these that I'm about to read right now? For the most part, but okay, the the one that's in a yeah. <laughs> Two common scalpel blades are the number twelve and number fifteen. Let me double check because I don't even know the end for the day. Number twelve and number fifteen. Oh, so yeah, this is not my first favorite. <laughs> A dot 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 is used to separate the gingiva from the underlying bone. The gingiva from the underlying bone. Um, oh, like if you're doing a flap. Is it the cardiac elevator or is it the periodontal seal? I don't know. Neither one? You tell me. <coughs> it's like a combination of both words you just said. Is it, is it still? Mm -hmm. Perio still elevator. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about it this way: perio. Anything that has to do with bone is perio. So, and that's something I did in school, y'all. I always try to find. I always try to make the answers make sense mm -hmm. for it to last. Find little words. To find little words together. to help you yeah, out. Because otherwise, it's gonna be a short-term memory.
you guys, I have been working all day and just behind the camera filming. I just finished doing a hair review tutorial with this wig. I'm just feeling myself. It's just so beautiful. This was a gorgeous unit. I finally got my new camera. I'm just feeling the motivation and the drive now. You know, I woke up this morning, girl. I was like, let's go to the gym. Let's get back onto the routine. I just have been missing from the gym for too long. And that's usually what happens. I don't stay consistent. And so when I go back, it's like 10 times harder. But um, I'm taking myself accountable for that. Um, I'm just going to start back implementing my consistency and I'm going to use this vlog and I'm going to use my vlogs as part of seeing my journey and memories for me. So let's go with that. Okay. Yes. So basically, let me give y'all a quick update because if you watched a few of my past vlogs, I've been complaining. I told you guys how I dropped my camera. I had the Sony ZV-1 dropped it it was at the repair shop i had found this camera repair shop and it had been with them for over a month there was a lot of back and forth but finally they called me to tell me that my camera is beyond repair and it could not be repaired and also i didn't have warranty on it so definitely broke my heart um i had to do what i had to do and invest into a new camera but trust me i learned my lesson and i got insurance on this one this time okay but yeah i have my camera back this camera is still the same one i had before it's the sony zv1 and yeah i'm just glad i'm back to quality honey because i missed it so much anyways i'm so glad so yesterday chelsea and i we went to best buy so yeah, that's the update on my camera. And then um, as far as what I'll be doing today, I'm getting ready to go to the store because I want to purchase some supplies to go donate to this foundation that's based here in Atlanta that will be um, delivering those items directly to Haiti. And I want to take a minute to give them a shout out because they've been doing an amazing job here in Atlanta. It's very inspiring and that's what's going to reach Haiti directly and so um my goal here today is to go grab some supplies the organization is atl for haiti i will put their instagram here on the screen and they have secured a vessel that can hold up to 2,000 tons of supplies and everything that's needed to reach haiti you guys so they will be collecting supplies i believe until september 15 if I'm not mistaken, so there is still time. If you're in the Atlanta area, check my description box down below for the address where you can stop by and donate. They have a whole warehouse there. I think they're open Monday through Saturday. Um, and if you're not in the Atlanta area, they have a mailing address as well. So you can find this info in my description box or you can find it um, on their Instagram. And so, as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, girl, I need to go ahead and buy what I can. They have a list of supplies that they need and um, a lot of people are in need right now and they need help. They need food. They need a place to sleep. They need this, uh, care. They need first aid supplies. And um, yeah, I want to use my platform to share the word. Um, also, I was born and raised in Haiti. This is my home and I will absolutely do whatever I can to partake in a change, if that makes sense. All right, y'all. So... Let me give y'all a little update on my day now because it never goes as planned. It is now about to be four o'clock. I'm about to call back. Um, the donation center closes at five and it's about 35 minutes from my house. So what I'm gonna do is get my supplies. I'm gonna get what I need from the grocery store either later on today or Monday. Right now though, I need to go grab me something to eat because I am starving. Like. I'm so hungry right now. I just got off the phone with Chelsea. She was like, Tasha, I'm starving. I was like, girl, let's go get some food. Let's go eat. So we're heading to the boiler. I've been to the boiler before and so has she. And it's really good. Um, it's a seafood spot here in Atlanta. I highly recommend. Um, in my opinion, it's better than Juicy Crab. Don't don't at me. They have good drinks as well. Uh, it's having my camera back for me. I still have to play with the settings. Right now, I have it on... Um, auto like the intelligent auto is what it's called on here so it just adjusts to where you go but if y'all know a good setting for the zv1 and you vlog and you know one with great lighting then comment down below because i'm trying to get hooked up it's my mom hello oh i can't see that hey girl i'm vlogging 
Hey girl, hey, what you doing? You love it? Are you trying to FaceTime me? See my hair? I was. It's giving Beyonce. It's giving Beyonce. Well, I'm gonna show her how to break some crawfish. Oh, boiled eggs, corn potatoes. Uh, honey, don't play with her. So I'm home, you guys. Wow, my hair looks so wild. But yeah, I'm home. Of course, you know, my lashes are off. What's new? Actually, I ain't gonna lie to you. I took them off at the restaurant. After that first drink, I was like, oh. Okay, I got an Amazon package. Just wanna show y'all what's in here. Okay, we got the Sweet Sweat Band. It's a waist trimmer. Sweet. It is contoured to fit comfortably around your waist during exercise while allowing enough flexibility for core and high interval training. Probably sure you guys have seen them before on either Instagram or um, TikTok. Y'all, my favorite matcha tea. Found it on Amazon. Of course, Amazon got everything. I have been complaining about how I ran out of this. And guess what? Amazon got it. This is a collagen and matcha 7,000 milligram. This gives me so much energy in the morning before work, girl. I make my little matcha tea with this. And we are good for the day. This is my favorite thing ever. Like, last but not least, I got the pink stuff. Also, oh my God, y'all, do not mind my nail. That was so ugly. Yeah, I needed the pink stuff. It's a miracle cleansing paste. You can use this on your stove top. But yeah, I have a spot on my stove top that won't come off and I needed this for it, so. This is a wig. Stay tuned for hair review. <laughs> this is another wig.
it's pretty early. I just got back from the gym and I had a great workout. I felt so energized and motivated. Like, I love that for us. Let me go ahead and take this sweet sweat off. This was my first time using this, y'all. And I can literally feel sweat underneath. Like, I can feel it. It's time to come off. And mind you, I'm not somebody that sweats easily. I could do a full workout and not sweat, like, legit. I don't know if that's a condition. Oh, girl. Did, do y'all see this water drip? Your girl is not in her best shape, but she's trying to get there, okay? And girl, back is sweating, everything. Did y'all see that water drip? If I do this every day, girl, we're going to get back to where we supposed to be. Like, So, this is full transparency. There's nothing, no perfection here, okay? Full transparency, 100% honesty. I mean, I did good today, but I could have went harder. You always got to think coulda, shoulda went harder. You know, I could have went harder. And only, I'm just imagining if I went twice as hard or twice as long as I did today. Yeah. I'm going to do this every morning. Hey, guys. Okay. Ready to head out. Ready to get these errands taken care of. Anyways, today is Sunday. I am currently on the way to um, get some passport photos done from Walgreens because tomorrow I have an appointment to get my passport done. I have some trips I'll be taking top of the year next year. A couple of months from now, so I just have to get my passport done. Um, I have a Haitian passport, but fun fact, this will be my first US passport. So, yeah, um, you know, I went to Puerto Rico recently, but to go to Puerto Rico, you don't have to have a passport. Right now, there's a longer turnaround time for passports, so I recommend getting your passport done now instead of waiting. If you know you have a trip you're taking in at least five months from now, go ahead and get that passport done because the turnaround time is longer than usual. I need to get a money order. It's like a hundred... $110 money order and then I have to stop at Zara and make this return because one of the fits that I bought for um, my Florida trip just doesn't fit so I'm about to go ahead and return them I'm not playing around with Zara because each of those sets were about 150 so keep your receipts and get that money back So then I got up, ran my errands, did what I had to do all before 12 o'clock. I wanted to show y'all um, what I got from the stores today. So I went to Zara to make my return and I had, a, I had a chance to browse around, of course. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And I was like, oh, this is cute. Let me look at this. Let me look at that. And y'all, I got a really cute piece. This is what she looks like. I wish y'all could feel this material. The details. Ugh, it just feels so luxe to me. I thought this was a shirt. It looked a little bit long for a shirt. And then I noticed that it came with a matching skirt. Like, you know those type of skirts that are pants? This not really a skirt, they're pants, but it looks like a skirt on the outside. I asked the guy, I had him, Scan this barcode so I can see how it looked on the model on the website. And when he did that, I saw that this was actually a dress. He was like, yeah, this is a dress. You can wear it as an oversized dress. So I was like, bet. I don't need the pants. Let me just keep this. I have a look in mind with this dress. Then I stopped at Sephora, of course, because I needed to re-up on some products. When I went to Florida, I forgot my freaking cleanser at my aunt's house. <laughs> so I just had to buy another one. 
because I'm in love with this cleanser. This is their total cleanser, remove it all. This is the 4.9 fluid ounce. The one that I had was smaller and yeah i have dry skin and i've noticed that this cleanser it doesn't strip the moisture out of your skin after you wash your face with it and i love that i thought it was really interesting that sephora had some as seen it on tiktok stickers so they would put it on products that have been going viral lately and the fenty skin um what is it called butter drop the lotion the body lotion was had the as seen on tiktok thicker on it girl i can't tell you how many tiktoks i've done with that butter drop on it and people in the comments always okay so i definitely i know i influenced some people so run me my check fancy run me my check like i said y'all need to check me out on tiktok because your girl is on tiktok heavy now she's doing really good i wanted to check out this brand the ordinary also have been seeing it all over tiktok and i just wanted to get some info on it so I had an essay give me some details. She recommended the hyaluronic acid. Chelsea also said she uses this and she likes it. Um, you know, hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. This is a serum. So it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And how this works, you just apply a few drops to your face in the morning and at night before your creams. And yeah, so it's fragrance free. I also love how their packaging looks. It's very aesthetic -y to me yeah the next product she recommended was the niacinamide 10 percent and this has zinc in it as well this she said is really good for because we were talking about first she asked me about certain things i wanted to fix with my skin troubled areas the issues that i was having and y'all one of the main issues that i've been having with my skin is my nose area we have two issues one of them my pores around my nose area have been just acting up i think my pores are bigger now because i can literally see them and then i feel like my nose is more sensitive because lately the tip of my nose has been getting darker it's so weird to me y'all might have not noticed that in my some previous vlogs but i would randomly notice some darkness around the tip it almost looks like a scratches and a little burn and then it would clear out on its own and randomly come back. I was using a little pore suctioning little thing from around my nose. I wouldn't say after I started using that, I noticed this and I stopped, right? I stopped using it. But I've stopped using it for a few weeks now and it's still happening. So let me give y'all a close up. This is the weirdest thing to me. I don't scratch my nose. I don't do any harsh exfoliant i don't I, I can't explain why my nose is doing this the only thing i can think of is maybe sunburn i've been using more of my black girl sunscreen i don't know comment down below if this has happened to you or if you have an idea of what is going on with me because that's the main issue i'm having right now so she recommended the niacinamide she said that it reduces pores like it it kind of closes up your pores so i'm all for that and how this works it just really says apply to your entire face morning and night so what she recommended she was like you can pack these products on she said first you want to cleanse if you're going to exfoliate you exfoliate after cleanser the exfoliant that i'm currently using and loving is a daily exfoliant it is the dermalogica daily microfoliant and you guys it's kind of wet because i used it earlier it was my shower when i tell you i love this it's like a powder so when you're using it you're supposed to just put it on your fingers you get your fingers wet and you just kind of lather everything and then you exfoliate your face what she told me was i can mix this exfoliant with my cleanser and just do like a cleanser exfoliate at the same time then after that you want to tone your face for my toners i have two different toners i have the fat water by fancy skin and then i have a um another one i've been using oh what is it called it has the red top i forget the name after you tone then it's time for your serum one of my favorite moisturizers right now is the curology moisturizer i've been using it since i did the partnership with them and i actually use their products like i love curology products so then you would moisturize your face and then last but not least you want to apply sunscreen on which is the very last day so yeah that'll be my routine i'll let you guys know of course how i am loving these products 
and yeah tiktok is definitely a big influence in my life <laughs> for sure but anyways i'm about to go ahead and finish cooking breakfast and edit this vlog for y'all i'm posting this vlog today so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up please i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed this vlog now that i got my camera back it's gonna be popping it's gonna be content after content after content like comment and subscribe and i love you all so so much like i said give this video a like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video love you guys Mwah.